Hello everyone, and welcome back to a fresh new video. Behold, a new roadmap was born, so let's just hop right into it. We'll start off with the smaller section, the events. The vampire event was leaked a bit early on accident by the official account before deleting the post, and then the actual game event was leaked to people in-game on accident, and then lastly, as usual, found in the game files. Not much else to say on that event besides the sick looking outfit, it looks good, and the machete that will also be coming. Next up is the Halloween event called Halloween. Pretty much it, and uh, yeah. Then there's the For Honor collab, and of course we're getting a winter event. My main hope is to finally have Villager snowing, as it was leaked way back, but it was never used for some like random unknown reason. Yeah, I really hope they bring it back. It looked fine, but if they didn't have time to polish it, I hope they do now. Then there's the anniversary event, which I hope the update is too good for anyone. Blows out of the park. Nobody expects anything in the update. Now for the juicier details. We will be getting new quad missions, board quests, and finally, finally, replayable Jerry Anomalies. We don't have the playable bandit caps yet, but we can hope. We can just still hope. I'm also hoping for co-op to be more polished by then, as it is more so a big issue of desyncing in certain aspects of a host lobby, not even matching with the other players at all, regarding models or any other little events. Board quests sound very much like bounties, of course, and we still have no news on Chapter 3, so it's safe to say, and we try to calm down the hopes a little basically wait for next year and nothing about chapter 3 was shown or talked about in the announcement at all weapon repairing is also making a return which might be tied to the craft master rather than just having the repair parts on the fly or they may do the same mechanic as they did in Dying Light 1 which would be fine with me new enemy variants I hope they introduce a harder challenge rather than just spamming attacks or Aiden staggering like he's being kicked out of a pub knives and pole arms we have very little knives so i'm glad with the recent addition to knife animations they aren't completely abandoning the category and another explanation think of pole arms as somewhat of what was shown with the scorpio back in e3 but a double-edged sword or a blunt weapon that may take a lot of stamina from you but the damage will be worth it there are more free outfits coming thank you techland i'll assume that they would need to arrive in the pilgrim armory which is fine by me as i have a lot of pilgrim tokens that I have been saving up since you know, nothing has really caught my eye besides the defense gear that they released a while back. Then got nerfed. <laughs> Tech shot is coming. You know, obviously a net positive. Gear and mod dismantling. I'm more stoked for the gear as I either have too many of the same stuff that I would never use or too much of my stats in general. That's kind of tedious to take out as I collect a lot of loot. So basically, my stash needs some deep cleaning so when new gear actually comes out i can just collect that instead new weapon rarity we have common uncommon rare unique artifact and legendary here's to hoping that the new rarity actually brings a challenge to earn it and it's also worth it and maybe that new rarity might just be the shotgun maybe they'll put weapons in their own category so even though we're getting weapons back it may not be as easy to earn which i'm all for just to you know Fight for what you really want. There's also a new difficulty, Nightmare, which I'm going to go on a limb and say that the leaks of the very hard and above may also come out as Techland does not want players to just jump into the hardest difficulty for those who just want a little difficulty bump rather than just being dropped in a world of hell. Finishers, another leak concept that sadly did not make it into the actual game, is but it's now coming for real. Thank you. It's coming. It's happening. It's real. And to those who haven't seen them, they looked pretty much deep into development and removed last minute. They are actually so beautiful. Explosive knives and throwing stars. Throwing stars should have come with a nipple ninja bundle in my opinion, but for other types of knives, would you guys ever use one that more so acted like a sonar? See enemies fire through walls, kind of like Titan Falls rendition of that? Curious on that? Let me know in the comments. And now my two golden child of this roadmap, the Bloom Toggle and community mod support. Finally, you won't have to boot up the game and be met with the almighty power of the sun in your eyes anymore. Now, you can actually see clearly now. And now we are getting mod support, which I have so many ideas up my sleeve, and I'm not going to spoil any of this. Stay back. And I lied. I have a third child. The Tower Raid. I did not play Hell Raid extensively, but from what I hear from other people, it was a very, very mixed experience. So, you know, my two senses that I hope they learn from the community feedback and just do better on that. Also, minor requests, besides making speedrunning alive again, please also add leaderboards to time trials and the tower raids. I want to see who's the best of the best and see how the crackheaded movement got them that time or made them last that long if the raids are wave-based on each floor. Thanks. And that's pretty much it for the end of the year roadmap. 
Oh, oh, one more thing. There's also going to be an AMA Tuesday with Timon regarding questions on this, but hopefully he's allowed to answer other questions that aren't related to it, but also to die light points in the game's future beyond 2023, as that really does need to be addressed, and I really, really hope the next update actually fixes it dr dramatically and drastically. That's what I that's what I hope for in the economy of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. And as always, good night and good luck.